This is One on One. This, this ain't about principles. This is about votes. You know that's a problem with you liberals. You don't know how to fight. You want to get something done in the real world, Hubert, you're going to have to get your hands wet. Now, you call yourself the leader of the liberal wing of the Democratic Party and show me some leadership. That's great stuff. That is from uh, Attorney Award winning play called? All the Way. All the Way. And uh, Robert Schenken is with us. Pulitzer and Tony Award winning playwright. That is yours. You and your team. That's Terrific. It. Brian Cranston, yes. Oh, yeah, I heard of that guy. <laughs> How great was he, is he? Uh, terrific to work with, an absolute pro, great guy, and uh, delivered a blistering performance. You know, he it, it won all the awards, including the Tony Award for Best Actor and his first first shot out of the box here playing, on Broadway. Playing Lynn Playing, playing, Lindsay, LBJ, playing, playing Lyndon Johnson. Johnson. No. You were saying, as uh, Johnson, by the way, remind me, Georgette, we had here... Uh, Brandon uh, Dearden. Brandon Dearden, who played uh, Martin Luther King. That's right. Connect, leading up to the signing of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Fascinating yeah. stuff. What a great yeah. cast. What was it like for you, who you said right now, we we're just talking about you're fascinated by Lyndon Johnson, in fact, complicated character, play, uh, personality in American politics, American life. What was it like to get the reaction that you got, not just critically, no. but had all these people coming to see it? It was very gratifying. It was it was truly gratifying. I, and um, this is a very ambitious project, a big play, twenty actors, three hours, uh, political history. You know, not necessarily the sort of thing you would uh, expect to see on Broadway. And to be as successful as it was, just in commercial sense, uh, you know, we set two box office records for our highest weekly gross for a new play in in Broadway history. But what it did in terms of the national conversation about Lyndon Johnson, about politics, um, I think was the most satisfying part of this. Um, we had people who, who had, like myself, who had lived through this period and had very, very strong emotional feelings about it. This is a ramp up to Vietnam, of course. Um, and uh, some of this w was a revelation to them. And then we had a whole other segment you of... You mean that Johnson was, in fact, a legitimate, the, bona fide supporter of the civil rights movement and while there were practical politics involved, um, in many ways, more so than Kennedy. And not just a, a supporter, a leader. Yes, and, and, and without him? And considerably more than Kennedy. No, I don't think it would have happened Got without it. him. I don't, think, I don't think anybody else could have done what Lyndon Johnson did. Revealing. And, and, and people have the domestic success, the enormous progressive agenda success, I think has, uh, has been overwhelmed by the emotional response to Vietnam. And now, 50 years later, I think we're in a period of re-examination, um, re-evaluation. People are beginning to look again at the Johnson administration. Uh, partially it's because he was so successful in terms of legislation, and today, of course, with the gridlock in Congress, we, we look at that and we think, ah, if only we could get a little bit of that. He got so much done, never mind. Uh, we don't editorialize as anchors here in public broadcasting, mm. but people can decide for themselves how much or how little is getting done in Washington. The Great Society. The Great Society is the sequel. All the way goes from November 1963 to November 1964 and his landslide victory. The Great Society picks up November 1964 and goes through to March 1968 when Lyndon Johnson goes on television and shocks the This country. is your new play? The new play. Playing where? Playing at the moment at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, which is where All the Way had its world premiere, and moving with a new uh, uh, remounting of All the Way to the Seattle Repertory Theater in mm. Seattle, Washington, which commissioned the Great Society. For, for the first time, both plays will play in rotating rep together. You know, it's so interesting. As, as a student of American politics and government, I'm fascinated by um, the work that you're doing. And I think to myself, you know, so many people argue that America, the vast majority of Americans are not interested in politics, in government, in policy. And your work is clearly demonstrating that if you present it in a certain way that is engaging, mm. is provocative, mm. is substantive, and dare I call it entertaining, 
Yes, absolutely. How dare we? Uh, absolutely. Um, we try to be all those things in public broadcasting. It can draw an audience and can get us to think. But when I think about the Great Society, and I think about what that was, and for those who don't realize this, the Great Society was the name of a whole range of programs in the Lyndon Johnson administration. His ideal vision of America, a, a federal government that actively sought to make life better. Excuse me, not for, to be confused with for, the contract with America. Not to be on America. Not at all. Or, a very different thing. Yes. A very different thing. That was the, that, that was the in, in fact contract for America has a very different Yes, the, that was the new Gingrich antithetical view a of, different view uh, of the involvement of federal government or the uh, lack of uh, but oh, go ahead. Yeah. But the Lyndon uh, Johnson so the great, society. the great society was the name given to this whole host of progressive legislation that he actually created such and, as and such as Medicare Medicaid, environmental law. Things we take for granted. Uh, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Say that again? The Corporation for Public <laughs> Broadcasting. Didn't exist before that. Johnson and his team said is, the federal government needs to do what with respect to public broadcasting? We ought to be involved. We ought to support this. This is a good idea. I, here's a story. I love this. This is uh, um, uh, uh, um, um, Joe Califano Jr., who was Lyndon Johnson's chief of domestic the head of, staff, the head of uh, housing right. HEW. Uh, well, for for Carter, he was. For Carter, but he before began that, his political life. That's right. As Johnson's chief of staff for domestic policy, when you worked for Johnson, you had to be available 24/7, and God help you if you weren't. Well, the one time Joe was not available, Johnson tracked him down in a fury and said, "Where are you?" And Joe said, "Well, I'm at the hospital." He said. Well, so his tone changed. He said, well, what's going on? He said, well, my son, my toddler, son got into the medicine cabinet and he swallowed aspirin. We're pumping his stomach. And, oh, my gosh, how is that? And they got to talking. Johnson said, you know, how did that happen? He said, well, he just, you know, he got the bottle open. And Johnson said, well, you know, that shouldn't happen. And weeks later, he sends a bill to Congress to mandate childproof locks on medicine cabinets and bottles. I mean, this and which is, federal agency, was it the FDA that had... That would be the, the FDA, yeah. That they had to then enforce this right. legislation that heretofore hadn't existed. But it's, the, it's this notion of problem, ah, <laughs> solution, <laughs> legislation, get it done. I, I mean, that's the kind of thing that you, you can't help but admire about Lyndon Johnson. I mean, the truth is, we live in Lyndon Johnson's world. This is something that people are not aware of, but this... The society that we uh, and and the benefits and and disadvantages that we enjoy are a direct product of Lyndon Johnson's vision of the United States in the Great Society. Wow. And at some point, Great Society coming to our neighborhood here. In well, the we certainly hope so. Uh, we've got a fantastic review from the New York Times. Uh, HBO film. Uh, there is an HBO film of All the Way. Uh, of All the Way. With Brian Cranston, Steven Spielberg producing. Who's that again? Uh, Steven Spielberg. I've heard of that yeah. guy. <laughs> Very excited, because Steven, of course, is a filmmaker who loves politics and understands politics. So we expect to be in production on the HBO film version of, of All, All the, the Way, way uh, uh, next year. And then we hope to be in New York with the Great Society perhaps in 2016. Well... Our hope is that the HBO film generates interest in the other part of the story, the second part, if you will, the yeah. Great Society yeah. piece. And, um, and we'll find out if there's a third part after no, this. No, do, do <laughs> it, I'm done. Do it, I'm done. <laughs> well, uh, Robert, I just cannot thank you enough. Oh, it, um, being a Pulitzer and Tony Award-winning playwright is great, um, but I have a feeling your work is far from done. And we appreciate everything you've done to help us understand very important parts of American history, particularly the part that often not misunderstands, but doesn't understand the complete picture of mm -hmm. Lyndon Johnson. So thank you so much. Thank Stay you. Right there. A pleasure. Appreciate it. Stay right there. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you very much. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Holy Name Medical Center, Berkeley College, Qualcare Inc., NJM, Wells Fargo, New Jersey Natural Gas, and by the Russell Berry Foundation. Promotional support provided by Commerce Magazine and by NJ Biz, All Business, All New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.